Birmingham Science Park is celebrating 30 years in business tonight, helping to support the high-tech companies of the future. The park says it's created 60 new companies in the last three years. Well, our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar is at the celebrations tonight. David, I guess the serious question is, do science parks really work? Well, I guess yes, Mary. You know, what have science parks ever done for us? in the past 30 years, since they were really created sort of in the 1980s. And there's a definite 1980s vibe to the party going on behind me, lots of neon. But the idea was back then to replicate the success of Silicon Valley in California. Well, what's happened in the last three decades? Have they really lived up to that promise? From prime ministers to princes, Birmingham Science Park has always attracted attention. But what about the companies? Well, one was there pretty much from the start, and so were we. Two years ago, Shirley Hamilton set up a new business. The company she runs is Techniplant. The Science Park were marvellous at the beginning. Um, we came in very much as two engineers. We had no commercial expertise whatsoever, and they did mentor and tutor us. Without that, we would have struggled at the beginning, I'm sure. Birmingham, or as it was then, Aston Science Park was the UK's third and the first in the Midlands. Many have followed since with plenty of direct and indirect investment by taxpayers. But have they worked? Well, one researcher who studied both Aston and Warwick in the past is unconvinced. All the argument was that uh, companies on the Science Park would gain from their close proximity to Aston University. So we thought, let's have a look and see how many people from the Science Park actually use the university library? And the answer was, of course, not a single one. No one. But you can't see the new generation of Birmingham Science Park tenants wanting to use the university library. Today, Birmingham is focused on small digital startups. We hold 80 networking events a year. We have uh, access to finance programs. We mentor the, the, the people. So if they do raise funds to start their business, those funds go further because they're in a place like this. Innovation is vital for the West Midlands economy, but elusive. 30 years on, have science parks lived up to their early promises? So we need someone who can really put all this in context for Birmingham and the wider West Midlands economy, and we have just the man. So Albert Bohr is with me. He's director, uh, chair, sorry, of the science park, but also, of course, leader of Birmingham Council. So I guess you can put this all in context for us. You were there 30 years ago. 30 years on, where's the sort of Birmingham Microsoft, the brummy apple? Well, we already have Microsoft in Birmingham, they're down in Digbeth, uh, and we've lots more uh, companies who are either growing or coming into Birmingham. My understanding is that we've got more digital uh, industries here in Digbeth and the east side uh, than are in the much vaunted Silicon Roundabout in London. So, looking at my report, we seem to have moved away in the early days, we all about engineering, high-tech firms, manufacturing oriented sort of companies, and now it's sort of more digital here. I mean, is this kind of stuff like video games, is that really going to be useful for the wider economy? Well, it's not just video games. Uh, the creative industry sector uh, is a very big user of, of, of digital. Uh, but if you think of a, a motor car, for example, a motor car 30 years ago was a very different proposition to a motor car today. You just think about Jaguar Land Rover and the amount of electronics and software that goes into a Jaguar these days. And therefore, there is a real tie-in here between the emerging digital and creative industries in Birmingham and some of the traditional manufacturing areas. And what do you say to people? I mean, there, there are grants that subsidy, and of course it's taxpayers on the street who end up paying for all that. I mean, what do you say to people when they ask, what have we got for the past three decades of the science park? We've got a growing uh, tech uh, industry. Uh, at one time, Birmingham was a low-value added manufacturing base. It's no longer so. We have a professional services sector, which has been a fast-growing sector in Birmingham. We've now got a tech sector, which is also growing. Thank you very much, Sir Albert. And there's a lot more on my blog about all this and research into what science parks have done for us. Now back to you in the studio. OK, David Gregory Kumar, many thanks for that.